But we are back with an issue that impacts more than 50 million Americans. AARP estimates that's how many people provide primary care for elderly family members. And guess what? That number is rising, and that's the focus of this month's AARP Bulletin Special Report. And here to walk us through navigating the system is AARP's caregiving expert, Amy, Amy Goyer. Amy, good to see yeah. you. Thanks good for to being see here. you. Thanks for having me. For yeah, so, so this has got to be something that, especially if you're not expecting it, can hit you like a freight train. And it's not that people don't want to do it. It's just they don't know where to start. So w when this this happens, when you find that you've got to take care of an elderly relative, a parent, somebody like that, what what, what are the first steps? You know, it, it's unique for everyone because, as you say, most people are unprepared. It, everybody's situation is unique. One of the things I love about that AARP bulletin column is that it covers multiple caregivers. So what happened with me when I became a caregiver, first in my 20s for my grandparents wow. and then for my parents, uh, my mom had a stroke, my dad had Alzheimer's, different experiences, right? So the best thing to do is to start out by um, really, uh, you know, assessing the situation. Okay. What are the current needs? Check out the living situation. Um, what are their uh, housing needs? What are the transportation needs? Do they need help with personal care or they just need a ride to the grocery store? Mm -hmm. um, assess the situation and then take a look at, um, you know, th where the gaps are. How do you fill those gaps with, uh, you know, services, mm -hmm. with family members. You build your team. Build a caregiving team. Yes, with uh, family, friends, volunteers, but also organizations. You know, contact the Area Agency on Aging. Find out what services are available. If your loved one's in a facility, they're part of the team. My mother spent years as a caregiver for, for her mother, my grandmother. Oh. Uh, so we got to see caregiving up close. Firsthand. Financially. How are you prepared to become a, a caregiver financially? You know, it's really a, a, a tricky situation. Family caregivers spend about 26% of their own income on out-of-pocket caregiving expenses. 26%? On, 26%, 26%. On average. So, you know, a quarter of your income on household expenses, medical expenses, personal care, you know, quality of life, which is part of caregiving, you know, to help help them enjoy life. Um, you know, it was financially devastating for me. My dad had Alzheimer's. That's a mm. long haul. Yes. So we suggest that people start out by getting help. Uh, you know, I, I didn't have a financial advisor for me. I had financial advisor for my parents yeah. and focused on their finances. But I suggest that caregivers find someone to help them through this um, plan. Create a budget. Uh, ARP has a great financial workbook for family caregivers and a special version for veterans because there are a lot of supports from the VA mm -hmm. that helped my dad that can help others. Um, you want to think about, you know, the personal care and um, caregiving. But, you know, it, it is hard to plan, but mm -hmm. you have a framework. And try to keep working. That's yeah. a good tip, too. You know, if you quit working, you stand to lose about $300,000 in lifetime wages and benefits if you quit working for caregiving. And, and this is also, and people who haven't had to do it don't understand, both emotionally and physically, what toll this takes on you. How do you take care of yourself while you're caring for others? Right. It is, uh, you know, I always say stress is our constant companion. It's, it's unpredictable, caregiving. So the best thing to do is to try to keep filling yourself up. My car can't run on empty and neither can I. So you want to embrace joy because joy is our greatest survival yes. skill. Create joy. Notice the joy, you know, dancing with my dad or tucking mom in a bed yeah. at night. Um, you know, notice those things, but create joy. Have fresh flowers in the house. Mm -hmm. uh, do, watch a fun movie. I used yeah. to watch musicals with my dad. You know, joy is a great survival skill for all of us. Maintain your identity. You know, uh, you know whoever you you are work is part of that but also you know your relationships your hobbies yeah. you're gonna have to adapt mm -hmm. but you can still try to have you know music is a big part of my life I couldn't sing in a choir but I could sing with my dad yeah. oh, Amy some great advice thanks so great much advice. really appreciate it and for this month's special report called family caregiving a view from the inside and other resources head to AARP's website fantastic information so many caregivers out there Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.